The Houston Texans travel to New York to take on the Jets Thursday night football. Welcome, everyone. I'm Andy from wagertalk.com. We're going to give you a best bet on this game. Let's get right into it. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me. Uh, you know what? Tell me your best bet, but also tell me if you've ever had this cayenne pepper water that Aaron Rodgers is talking about that. I'll get that later. So uh, leave your best bet in the comment section and tell me if you've actually tried cayenne pepper water, because I'll be honest, I have not. Uh, but you guys, you guys know the drill. If you do not have a hot take and you just want to help us out a little bit, type the word poor in the comment section. It's just an algorithm boost that helps us out, helps us rank higher on YouTube. And I always read your comments and respond to everybody, even if you're just typing the word. So I love hearing from you guys. I love checking in. Uh, so type the word poor, P-O-O-R, in the comment section. And let's check the live lines. This is from the Wager Talk Live, uh, live Odds page. This is free. If you're not using it, shame on you. Uh, literally a free asset here. Um, you can check the lines and the line movement. Jets, still the favorite. It opens at one and a half. Looks like minus two is the prevailing number right now. Over, under, open at 42 and a half. Eh, you can get 42 and a half um, if you like the under. If you like the over, you can get 42. So always make sure to line shop. Uh, looks like Bookmaker has a 41 and a half. So if you're liking the over on that one, that is a big key number there if you can get to 41 and a half. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with these teams. And we'll just start with some basic stats, and then we'll get into some of the storylines and injuries. Team yards per play. Uh, the Jets are 23rd at 5.1 yards per play. Houston, not a ton better. 16th at 5.4, so ever so slight edge to Houston, but nothing major. Uh, team opponent yards per game. I thought this was really interesting. Houston is two at 280.3 and the Jets 286.9. So these are two defenses that just do not allow a lot of yards. Um, that kind of surprised me. I figured the Jets were, were good, but I didn't know they were top four good. Um, the Jets are dealing with some injuries in their secondary. Uh, ask any Jets fan. They'll tell you about how banged up their secondary is. That's going to be an issue. And then, of course, for Houston, no Nico Collins. Stephon Diggs is now out for the season. So uh, the cover's getting a little bare <laughs> there for Houston. So let's take a look at some of their recent scores, and then I'm going to get to the best bet here. So looking at the Jets, who it's they've beaten the Titans and the Patriots, and the Patriots avenge their loss. I mean, it's it's been bad. Um, but look at some of these scores, and this is probably going to tell you where I'm going with this. So they lose the Patriots 25-22. That's over 42 points. They lose to the Steelers 37-15. That's easily over 42 points. They lose to the Bills 23-20. That's over 42 points. And then when you look at the Houston Texans here, uh, this is a Texans team that is just ever so slightly getting over these scores or over this number here against the Colts 23-20. That is over that 42 number against Green Bay 24-22. That is over this 42 number. Before that, 41-21. Before that, 23-20. Before that, 24-20. That's five games in a row that this Houston Texans team has gone over, and that's going to be my official play. I like the over. Um, we hit the over last Thursday night, and I'm going to go right back to it. And this is a stat that I, I absolutely cannot stand because it really has no meaning on this game, and yet I'm still going to give it to you. Thursday night football, three out of the first four weeks under this number. Every game since then has gone over this number. So we're seeing a little trend that these sloppy games, injuries at the defense, they're 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 going over this total. So uh the cayenne pepper water. So Aaron Rodgers comes out there and says he got some advice, he got, got a tip from his punter that he should be taking you're drinking cayenne pepper water and that he's done that and now he feels better this week. This is this is where it's this is what we've this is where it is right now with the Jets, is is where depending on Aaron Rodgers and the cayenne pepper water. It's just, it's one thing after another. I love the Jets. They're a great source of entertainment. Um, let's see. So I, I have, again, I have never tried this cayenne pepper water, but now I think I kind of have to. So I will absolutely be uh, looking up <laughs> recipes. So um, what do we have up at Wager Talk? Well, first I have to brag, duh. Uh, 482 wins, 311 losses for plus 161.21 units. Uh, if I could just get serious for a little bit, this has been a spectacular year and we're really proud of all the work that we've uh, done. Uh, the month of October has been fantastic in the NFL. We started off the season absolutely terrible by our standards. Absolutely terrible. We've turned a profit every single week in October and we've hit 71% 
of NFL bets. So we're really excited with that. We had another winning week last week. Uh, we're already up 4.4 units uh, this week, starting with a clean sweep on Monday, including a Monday night football win. So um, whenever we talk money and we talk bankroll, time to get a little serious. We have a, we have a lot of fun on this show, but uh, in the end, it's a results-based business. It comes down to making money, and that's what we've been doing for clients. What do we have up for this week? Week nine pack. That's going to include all your plays from Thursday night football all the way through Monday night football. Uh, we have our college football uh, play of the week here. Um, we hit our 5% college football play last week. I like this one better than, than, than last week's, actually. I had it circled, and then the number came out, and I was just stunned, blown away by it. So if you have not taken advantage of the college football, do that. We are 20 and six lifetime. You heard that correct. We do one play a week. We started last season. We are 20 and six. This season, we are seven and two lifetime. 20 and six and seven and two this year. We only need one play to do our damage in college football. So encourage everyone to grab that over at Wager Talk. Um, we've got some specials that are up. So if you want to take advantage, we've got some NBA and NHL passes. I've only had two NBA plays so far this season, two and oh in those. NHL, uh, I think I'm 500. Uh, I think I got juiced a little bit. So, but NBA is going well. NFL, college football is going well as all. Um, and you see us down here. Uh, so there's the the week nine pack. Go grab that, and also the uh, college football best bet as well. If you're interested in 30 day pass, just let me know. I did a really nice consultation on Monday night with someone. Got them hooked up with 30 day pass. If you're an all access client, I offer this. If you guys just want to put in the comment that you would like to do a consultation call, it's free. I offer that to, to everyone that jumps in all access. So we get on the same page. We talk about bankrolls. We talk about strategies, goals, things that we should be talking a lot more about uh, that we just don't do enough in this industry. So I'm hoping to fill that void. So, all right, let's cash the over on the Jets and the Texans. Good luck on your place. And we'll see everyone later.